right. I know the Bible is 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 right. Well, I done told you once, done told you twice. Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday night Bible study. We're here in person practicing physical distance and at the Refuge Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, 588 Southeast 7th Street, here in the city of Webster, Florida. Our pastor is Bishop James Hall, and I have the privilege of service as a diocesan. Tonight, we're in the book of Luke's Gospel, chapter number 7. We apologize for the tardy. It's but there's a storm that's, amen, out over the ocean <laughs> and is moving this way. Amen. Etta might be what you focused on, but I want you to know if your soul is not anchored, yes. amen, hallelujah, you'll soon, amen, uh, be in a bad state. So pray for us as we, amen, endure this storm. Luke chapter number 7, verse number 18 through verse number 35. Let's jump right into the word of the living God. Verse 18, and the disciples of John showed him all these things. Just say with me, these things. Jesus. See, in the last lesson, we had seen Jesus raise the widow's son from death. Y'all remember the widow named Jesus? Amen. Showed his power of the resurrection. This news has swept across the land and had reached the ears of John the Baptist's disciples. These disciples rushed to tell John of the news. Verse 19, and John calling unto him two of his disciples and sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? John already knows that Jesus is the one, because he has saw the dove light on Jesus and remain. Y'all remember how John is Jesus's? cousin he was the one amen that was baptized jesus so he know who jesus is yes. but sometimes your life situation and amen. challenges okay, cause you to make your calling and election sure doubting is not a problem all you got to learn how to do is deal with the doubt and yes. let the word of god overcome all of your doubt yes. God had previously told John when this happened, the person would be the Messiah. This message that will be brought back, amen, will be for the benefit of John's disciples. Notice the two disciples, amen. A thing must be established by two. How many realize you thank God that he established his word in the mouth of two or uh, three witnesses? Yes, amen. One of the things thank you're going to mess up if you don't, Amen. Get somebody to bear witness with you. You'll be out there on an island all by yourself. Yes. That's why we take time and teach the Bible verse by verse. Because we bear witness to the word of God. I, I don't come with another doctrine. We were teaching that on last night. If uh, Paul said, if I or an angel from heaven come and bring any other gospel, yes. then this gospel that we preached unto you, let him be accursed. Yes. Tonight we're talking about wisdom is justified in all her children. Amen. Amen. In other words, when you hear this word come from God, if you're really a child of God, you are yoke up with that word. You Amen. are bear witness yes, with what thus says yes, yes. the Lord. When the men will come unto him, they say, John the Baptist have sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? John wants his disciples to be fully persuaded. By what Jesus says and does, yes. that he is the Christ, right. the Messiah. John is in prison, but he's still, amen, bearing witness and yes, a forerunner sir. of Jesus Christ. You shouldn't let being locked up cause you to be, amen, hindered from doing what God tells you yes, to sir. do. Amen. 
Right. See, John is in prison at this time, and the disciples may be bringing, beginning to doubt. Uh, this is not for John's benefit because long before this, John called Jesus the Lamb of God. Y'all yes, remember sir. when he said, Behold the Lamb of God? Yes, sir. Amen. That take away the oh, sins yes, yes. of the world. When you bear witness that you're a child of God and you got the wisdom, hallelujah, you'll know how to accomplish what God assigned you to do yes. even in the midst of the pandemic, yes, even yes, in the sir. midst of poverty and sickness. Uh -huh. Wisdom yes. is justified in all her children. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear. Amen. There's some stuff I got to go through in order to be what God wants me yes, to sir. be. Verse number 21. And in the same hour, he cured many of their infirmities Infirmity. and plagues and evil spirit. And unto many that were blind, he gave yes, sight. Yes, this just means that in front of the John's disciples, Jesus did all sorts of miracles. Yes, sir. Amen. The there above does not mean John's disciples, but the infirmities of the multitude that followed yes, Jesus. How many know Jesus is a miracle working He's God? A miracle worker. Hallelujah. Yeah, verse 22, then Jesus answering yes, and said unto them, go your way. Go your way. And tell John what things he have seen and heard. Yes. How the blind see and the lame walk. Yes, and the lepers are cleansed. Yes. The deaf hear. Yes. And the dead are raised. Yes. And to the poor the gospel is preached. In other yes. words, he was trying to let, you, let them know. Amen. The word oh, of God yes. not bound. John is in prison. Jesus on his way to the cross. Yes, sir. Amen. But the word of God is, amen, yes, loose. Yes. Amen. And it's accomplishing what God has ordained for it to do. Yes. Wisdom yes. is justified in all of her children. Yes. Hallelujah. And uh, blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. What is the offense? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And remember, we opened up this lesson showing you how Jesus had resurrected yes. the widow's son. That means he had to die in order to be resurrected. There's Amen. some stuff God going to allow you to get, get, get into, to go through, so he can show you how yes, much sir. power, amen, he had. Yes, John yes. already knew who Jesus was. He had declared him the Lamb of God. But for the benefit of those that was following him, hallelujah. See, y'all wasn't yes, in sir. the water when, when, when he on, came. Y'all yes. y'all don't know him like I know him. On, amen. Yes. But go over there and ask him these questions. Yes, sir. If you a child of God and somebody asks you what you know about Jesus, yes. Hallelujah, oh, you will respond. He's all right. I don't care what's going yeah. on. I don't care what the condition is. I don't want if you know God is all right in the all midst right. of the pandemic. Yeah. Come on, give God some praise right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Awesome. Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended yeah. in me. No prophet or priest yeah. who ever lived had done so many and great miracles as these. Yeah. There's no doubt at all who this is. Yes, in sir. verse number 23 here, Jesus is warning John and his disciples yes. not to begin to doubt yes. because they were faced with adverse circumstances. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. And he's talking to the people about John. In other yes. words, I'm saying over you tonight, don't doubt. Don't I don't doubt. care how bad it is. Don't doubt. Hallelujah. Don't give up your hope in God. Don't yes. give up your no. wisdom yes. is justified. In all her children. Yes, sir. Amen. If you're a child of God, you got to know he shall come. Yes, sir. Amen. And he will not tarry. Yes. Amen. You need to know Jesus is coming. It's coming. And the beauty about him coming, hallelujah, it don't take him 2,000 years to get nowhere. Amen. Hallelujah. He's from everlasting, everlasting to already everlasting. Matter of fact, he's coming, but he's already here. Already. Jesus yes. is yes. already yes. here. Can't yes. you feel his presence? Yes. He's already All here. Right. All you got to do is open up open your up. heart. Yeah. Amen. He's already right. here. Yeah. All right. Isaiah 29, verse 18 and 19. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book. Mm -hmm. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. That's how come we preach the book. That's how come we teach the book. Yeah. Because this year is the year of spiritual vision yes, and clarity. Yeah. You got to see what the Lord is doing. Amen. Verse number 19, the meek also shall increase 
uh, their joy in the Lord. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. When yes, you get sir. that yes, gospel, sir. it'll change your financial outlook. It'll change your medical condition. Yes, when you get the word of God, it'll change your mental state. Yes, Hallelujah. Sir. You can be as crazy as a $4 bill with my picture on it. Hallelujah. Uh, you can be as, as, as a bad as the worst person that walked the face of the earth. But I'm telling you, Jesus can turn it around yes, for you. Sir. Amen. He'll keep your mind in perfect peace. Yes. Amen. All you got to do is realize there's a peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. You can't figure this thing out. Just un understand that God has already worked it out. Right. He's giving you wisdom to know that is justified in all of her children. Amen. If you, yes, yes. amen, uh, get into the word of God, amen, the study of the word of God, the believing of the law of God, operating in the will of God, that's the beginning of wisdom. Yes, sir. You get in that word of God and it'll lead and guide gotcha. you in all truth. You might not have a college degree, Come but on. if you know the word of God, yes. you are put to uh, yes, the, 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 the wise. You, you are put them to Amen. A, a open shame yes, with the word of the living God. And you'll see this is what Jesus is doing here. John is about to go off the scene. His disciples are still necessary to be taught. So yes. Jesus gives them a manifestation lesson. He shows them the power, yes. amen, of his miracle working. Yes. Amen. But now he wants them to understand his word. Yes. All right. Look at verse number 24. And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. Yes. What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A yes, reed sir. shaken My in God. the wind? In verse 24, Jesus speaks highly of John. Now, wait a minute now. Talking highly of John and John in prison. Don't you know Jesus could have released him out of prison if yes, he wanted to? Yes. Why are you saying this, McCoy? Because you're in some situations right now yes. that's causing you to question and God is bragging on you. God is talking about you. God is saying, you know my daughter. You know my son. Yes. Amen. You can depend on them. And you looking at all the stuff you're going through. Yes, you're looking sir. through all the problems. Yes. Wisdom yes. is justified yes. in all her oh, children. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's a privilege and an honor to suffer for righteousness sake. Amen. How many realize this too shall pass? Amen. And he's telling these people that God had great love and honor for John the Baptist. Yes. Jesus didn't speak in this way in front of John's disciples. Yes, he was not trying to win the favor with John, amen, by saying nice things in front of John, amen, followers. In other words, Jesus, Jesus. really had, amen, uh, uh, great respect for John the yes. Baptist. He telling the people, if you expect John to yes. be weak, and blown by every wind of doctrine, yeah. you'll be disappointed. Amen. John is a powerful wow. man of God. Yes, sir. Man oh. looks on the outward appearance. Yes, sir. Amen. But God looks, amen, inside uh, to find the worth of man. Just look across the physical distance. Look at somebody and say, I'm stronger than I look. I'm stronger oh, yeah. than I, I, I can go. I can, I can endure more. Yes, sir. Amen. Folk look at us. Amen. As a diocese, they look at yes. us as a body of believers and yes, they, they say things that they don't understand the wisdom of God. Amen. Amen. See, I know the word of God. Yes, I know sir. the promise of God. Yes. I know the power of God. And I found out that what you look like on the outside ain't Amen. what's going on on the inside. Yes, Amen. God know the worth of the man. Wisdom yes, is justified in all her children. Yes. Amen. Verse 25. But what ye went out for the sea? A man clothed in soft oh, raiment. Behold, they which are gorgeously appareled and live delicately are in king's courts. Yes. Worldly people believe you have to be very important. You must be dressed in fancy clothes yes. and live very extravagant lives. This sort of person would be a king. Or a president, not a man of God. Amen. God chooses the lowly and the humble to be his most important workers. Yes. Amen. God does not choose by worldly standards, but by the heart. Anybody oh, yeah. got a clean hand and a pure heart on tonight? Anybody realize it's not in what car you drove up here in? It's not, it's not in the clothes you got on your Amen. back. It's not in the money you got in the bank. Yes, Amen. But it's the power of the Holy, Holy Ghost God. that's on the inside. Yes, 
wisdom is justified in all her children. Verse 26, but what ye went out to see, a prophet? Yea, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I almost titled this lesson tonight, Much More Than a Prophet. Amen. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. What did you expect a prophet to be uh, to look like? Yeah. Were you looking for a prophet? If you found John the Baptist, you found much more than a prophet. I'm telling you, if you come to Refuge, Amen, Church here in yes, Webster, sir. Hallelujah, you'll find more than just oh, some yeah. clean living people. You'll find more, Amen, than just a a good environment to raise your family, you will yes, find yes. the power of God yes. that go beyond any man, go yes. beyond any woman. Yes. You won't leave here the same way you came. Yes. See, God has chosen him for a very special job. Yes. Muslims believe Jesus yes. was a prophet. In fact, they teach Jesus was one of the greatest of the 124,000 prophets Allah sent to mankind. Yes, Second yes. only to Muhammad, the final prophet of Islam. Yes. The Quran mentions Jesus in more than 25 places, always with honor. honor. That's yes. why you got to be able to know what the word of God say, because yes, people will make you think that he's only a prophet. But yes. I want you to know much more than a prophet, a prophet. is here tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus is called the son of Mary, yes. the Messiah a servant of God, a messenger of God, a word from God, a sign from God. At the same time, the Quran denies the deity of Christ as well as the elements of his saving work on the cross, including his death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. I say to all my Islamic brothers and sisters, all to my Muslims, I want you to know when Jesus died, he died for your sins too. Yes, and all you got to do is realize he's much more than a prophet. Yeah, come on and give God some praise. In verse number 27, this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy, thy, thy faith, which shall prepare thy way before thee. In other words, John was the forerunner. John, Jesus is explaining to them that John the Baptist was a voice crying in the wilderness, oh, yes. proclaiming the coming oh, of yeah. Messiah. Oh, that's how come we not a part of that quiet crew. Amen. Amen. Because Isaiah 58 say, cry loud and spare not. Show my people their transgression yes, and the house of Jacob their sins. We believe yes, in crying out. Jesus is coming. Yes. I wish I can get somebody with the spirit of John tonight just to put it in the atmosphere and say, Jesus is coming. He's coming, church. He's coming soon. you got to get ready. See, John is not the Messiah. He's proclaiming his coming. The people are told the Messiah is coming. It was John's job to bring this message. Jesus is coming again as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And all believing ministers should be proclaiming yes, his sir. second coming. Come and on, you should sir. be doing it right now. I'm telling you, Jesus is coming. Yes, He's sir. coming. Yes. You worrying about the vaccine when you need to realize the healer is already oh, here. Man. Hallelujah. Yes, you need to thank God for healing your body right oh, now. Yes. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, we moving on here feeling pretty good. Verse number 28. For I say unto you, among those that are born of woman, there's not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom is greater than he. Boy, that Jesus was some kind of teacher. Y'all remember how a John sent the disciples to learn something of Jesus. Then Jesus sent the disciples to go tell John. But now Jesus talking to those who were following him. And he started bragging on John. And then after he built John up, he let him know. Amen. That uh, there's not a, 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 a person that's yes, born of a woman that's not greater than John the Baptist. Hallelujah. But he is the least one in the kingdom because yes, he was letting them know John done done his job. Yes. Amen. John has come before Calvary. Yes. Amen. But I want you to go to Jerusalem yes, and wait there till you're being do it yes. with power. See, John, yes. amen, did not have the baptism of the Holy Ghost like you and I. 
have the baptism. Because Jesus hadn't went to Calvary yet. Amen. He hadn't went and sent back the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. And so he said he is least in the kingdom. Amen. That's how come if you following John the Baptist teaching, I'm telling you, be like the disciples of John. Might have been them same too. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 19, they ran into Paul and Paul asked them, unto what then were you baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. Amen. And uh, he said, well, John's baptism was a baptism of water unto repentance. Amen. And they asked him, say, well, have you received the Holy yes, Ghost? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yes, Since you believe. They, 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 they said, we ain't even heard whether there oh. been a Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. And Jesus, uh, Paul began to tell him, amen, you got to be baptized. baptized. Amen. He laid hands on them yes, and sir. baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. And they begin to speak yes, in tongues. Oh, That's how come that John can't be the greater than you in the kingdom. Amen. Because the tongues he taught, oh, amen, was God. the tongues of the bearing witness of Jesus. Yes. Amen. But the tongues you taught, amen, is the as the spirit of God yes, give God. the utterance. So when I'm saying Jesus is coming, Amen. That's the message. But when I tell you receive the Holy Ghost, amen, I'm letting you know you can be baptized with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give the, uh, give the utterance. Amen. Just look around this building today. Amen. And just say, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive. I pray the Holy Ghost, amen, will saturate every wall, will saturate every pew. That if anybody walk in here without the Holy Ghost, yes. amen, the walls will start telling. The Holy Ghost is here right now. Amen. If it's in the carpet, I want yes, the Holy Ghost to be everywhere. Yes, when you walk in the presence of God, hallelujah, the all Bishop Hall got to do is stand up and the Holy Ghost say, we got this. Amen. How many know the Holy Ghost will take care of its own business? Yes, yes. I believe Jesus is saying that John is counted as one of the greatest prophets who ever yes, lived. Sir. But in the same breath, He's saying to these people who believe Jesus to be a prophet yeah. that he is, in fact, the son of God. Yeah. That even though they esteem John to be greater than he is, John is a man. John is a great prophet, but John is not God. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. Anybody know God is with you on tonight? Uh -huh. And all the people heard him and the public justified God being baptized with the baptized baptism of John. Yes. Ooh, y'all got to catch this on tonight. Right. We see here that many of these people that Jesus was talking to had listened to John the Baptist. Yes. They had repented and been baptized of John. John had been very a very convincing preacher and numerous people in this crowd had accepted him as a true prophet. I'm saying to every Baptist that's listening to me tonight, I know you call Baptist because y'all follow John the Baptist. On, but man. there's one greater than John the Baptist. Yes, I know you was Baptist born, Baptist bred, and you feel you're going to be a Baptist when you're dead. Amen. Before you die, just get the Holy Ghost. That's, that's all up. I'm asking you that's to do. Up. You don't have to come and join up with this church and not the Holy Ghost. Amen. That you just going to... Uh, uh, Give your hand to the preacher and your heart to God and all that kind of Holy Ghost, amen, that Jesus started talking about. Yes, when he told all of his disciples, some of them were Baptist disciples because they had followed John the Baptist. Yes, That's how come he had to teach them. Yeah, John was a great prophet, yes, but it's one greater than John here. Amen. amen. John told you, I baptize you with water what? unto repentance. Amen. But the one coming after me is going to baptize you with the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. I ask you, Baptist preacher, I ask you, Baptist member, do you have the fire? Uh -huh. And if you don't have the fire, you need the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost don't come with cigar. Yeah. The Holy Ghost don't come with multiple marriages. The Holy Ghost don't uh -huh. come with all of that other stuff. See, the fire will burn up all that stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John, the Baptist, was in prison because he was preaching against Herod, who had married his brother's wife. Yes. Amen. He was an adulterer. He was a homemonger. And yeah, John baptized, but I could hear him in prison just talking, hollering to Herod, huh. saying, turn yeah. Philip's wife loose. Amen. That ain't your wife. Come we on. believe in living the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. We believe in living the Holy standard. Yes. And if you get this baptism of the Holy Ghost, 
I'm not just talking against Baptists. I'm telling you, most of the folk in our church come out to Baptist come church. On. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You find a good Baptist woman. I'm talking to my wife now. Hallelujah. Oh, she was trained and developed. Amen. And God prepared her in the Missionary Baptist Church. Yeah. So when I found her, all I had to do was talk to her about oh. the Holy Ghost. And ever since she got the Holy Ghost mixed with her Baptist yeah. training, huh. oh, she make a good wife, an uh, excellent wife. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you, amen, thank God that wisdom is justified in all her children. Yes, yes, and God got children in the Baptist church. Oh. He got children in the Methodist church. He got children everywhere. But as a child of God, when yeah. the Lord give you understanding, understand. follow what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. John was a true prophet. But you got to go a little further than John. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Somebody thank God for the Holy Ghost on tonight. Thank See, God. they heeded his warning and had been, uh, had been baptized of him. Verse number 30. But the Pharisees and lawyers mm -hmm, rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. Now, you got folk right in the group, yes. smart. You couldn't be a Pharisee and be no dummy. Amen. A lawyer. They understood the law. And I'm not only talking about the civil law. They understood the law of God. Amen. You know so much word, but you won't get the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then you lie and think you already got it and still do the things that you're doing. If you had the Holy Ghost, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. If you, you had these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. You don't be partnering with no devil when you got the Holy Ghost. You will say to that devil, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Amen. You will walk in the authority. Don't let nobody fool you, make you think that you can't live the standard. Wisdom is justified in all her children. If you're a child of God, you can say, I can do it. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens. Amen. Me. Amen. I'm just excited about God. Hallelujah. Because that's the wisdom of God. That may gives you an understanding, amen, that you can do better. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, these Pharisees and the lawyers had elevated themselves to a position of not needing to repent and be baptized. And they had rejected this message of John. Conceit, God yeah. help us, can certainly keep a person from God. God loves the humble. That's how come you need this baptism. I heard one preacher talking about well, tarrying. All it does not mean is to wait on God. You don't have to get on your knees and call on Jesus. How you going to call on God? If you're not going to get on your knees, get on your back. If you're not going to get on your back, amen, yeah. stand up. Stand but up. you need to call on Jesus. Jesus. And let me tell you something about tarrying. If you're going to tarry, you got to empty yourself out. Yes, amen. Sir. You got to give it all to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We done got this modern way of waiting on the Lord. Amen. Just sitting there acting like, amen, we ain't on our way to hell. Amen. Acting like, amen, we can just uh, uh, keep on living like this. No. Amen. Yeah. amen. When you understand the word of God, amen, you got to get worried. Yes, sir. I'm waiting, hallelujah, on the Lord. But Lord, come now. Yeah, Even son. though so come quickly, Lord. Okay. And when you get in that kind of, that's what they taught me, Terry. I'm waiting, but I'm anticipating I'm anxious. Oh, I'm yes, excited. Anybody excited to call on the name of Jesus? Jesus. They say, call him like you want him. Call him like you need him. Yeah, Amen. I dare you right where you are right now to start calling on the name of Jesus. I know it, it. For conceited people, this is not for you. For people who think that you are too uh, intellectual, this is not for you. Yeah. Go on and stay over there. You could be right with them Pharisees and them lawyers. But the ones who want to get the Holy Ghost, you got to do it the way the Bible says. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You got to go to the upper room. What you think they were doing in that upper room? Amen. When they were waiting on the Lord. What, yes, what, what you think Paul was doing on his way to Damascus? Yes. He was on his way trying to kill the believers. Hallelujah. But when the Lord came down, knocked them, slapped down off of that donkey he yes, was on. He was blinded in his eye. Hallelujah. He had to go to straight street to find and a nod. Amen. I'm telling you, if yes. you're going to get the Holy Ghost, it's going to be something that's going to be a life-changing experience. Amen. More than just goose pimples. More, more than just the hair raising up on the back of your neck. Yes, Amen. Sir. Because you don't want nobody. You do more uh, uh, exciting things 
when you out there in the bowling alley than you do in the house of God. On, Amen. But there's no joy like the joy of the come Holy on, Ghost. Yes, Amen. The joy of the Lord oh. is our strength. Yeah. You say, well, you just Pentecostal. Well, you need to be Pentecostal. Yes, you need sir. to go there and wait till you be endured with power from on high. high. That's what Pentecost is all about. Yes. It's a release. It's a jubilee. It's a celebration. Yes. I'm glad I'm saved. Glad I'm sanctified. Wisdom is justified in all her yes, children. I'm not talking about a denomination. Hallelujah. Because I know a whole bunch of Baptist, Holy Ghost filled folk who live a standard of righteousness, who've been baptized in Jesus' name, yes, who God have assigned them to stay right there, amen, in their church to help everybody else. You know that mother every Sunday. Hallelujah, yeah. when the music get up, when things, she get to dancing and speaking in tongues and hollering and screaming. Amen. She got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's why she, her assignment is to stay right there and let you know, amen, that you can have the Holy Ghost in the Baptist church. Yes, sir. Somebody tell the Lord, yeah. thank you, Jesus. Amen. There was a time I didn't know this, but wisdom is justified in all her yes, children. Verse 31 as we close out. Y'all still with me on tonight? And the Lord said, Where unto shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? The plain way to say this would be, What is the world, what in the world am I to think of this generation who will not accept John the Baptist's message or even the Son of God's message? I want y'all to know if they rejected John, killed him, rejected Jesus, kill him, what you think they're going to do to you? Well, I mean, what? Well, why are you trying to be everybody's friend? I'm talking about getting the Holy Ghost, not Casper the Ghost. I know I, I, I'm trying to be friendly to everybody, but if you don't like me, that's on you. That ain't that's on right. me. Amen. <laughs> Verse right. 32, they're like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another and saying, we have piped to you and ye have not danced. We have mourned to yeah. you and ye have not wept. Jesus is calling them children in the knowledge of the things of God. Yes. Jesus says, whatever the message has been brought to you, you have refused. Yes. Verse 33, for John the Baptist came neither eating not bread nor yes. drinking wine, and you say, he hath a devil. Yes. You accepted him as a great prophet, but you still called him a devil. Amen. John had been separated, separated serving even from his mother's womb. His entire life had been lived in anticipation of this job God had called him to do. He never drank wine. Amen. He lived in the desert and ate honey and ochres, yes. uh, 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 locusts. Excuse me. He was uh, a very wholesome yes. man. These worldly people accused him of having a devil. Yes. He was disciplined and they called it a devil. He Amen. wouldn't drink. He wouldn't do something. They called it a devil because he lived in the desert and refused to be involved. With worldly yes, things. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That's, don't, don't worry about people calling That's you the right. devil. Verse 34. And the son of man is come eating and drinking. And ye say, behold, a gluttonous man. Yes. And a wine bibber. A friend of publican and sinner. So, in other words, it had two extremes. One came not drinking, not dealing with people, sitting out in the wilderness, and you called him a devil. Yes. And then another one came interacting with you, moving around the people, dealing, and you call him the devil. Yes. In other words, the world don't like you. They never like you. Yeah. They never will accept you. But wisdom is justified in all of her children. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm telling you, you can walk amongst the haters. Yeah. But there's someone that, or that's hanging out with the haters that when they see the wisdom of God on the inside of you, Amen. They'll come and sneak to you at night. Yes, sir. About like Nicodemus did. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. They start asking yes. questions. I heard you over there teaching. Now, how can a yes, man sir. be born again? Do he go back into his mother's womb and Jesus start talking to him and let him know, amen, it wasn't flesh that brought you this, but this is the Holy Spirit. You got to be born of the water and of the Spirit. If you don't get this Spirit baptism, you won't even understand, amen, how the wind operates. Yes, Amen. Sir. But if you get the Holy Ghost, the, 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 God will look at to teach you how to go out in the wind. Yes, sir. And you can see the Spirit of God operate. Yes. How many of God is in the atmosphere right no. now? You yes, worrying sir. about the corona yeah. in the wind. You, you worrying about the pandemic Come in on. the wind. But I prophesy to the wind. 
And I say to these dead bones in America, amen, I'm saying to these valley of dry bones, you shall live. God is raising up a group of people in this country that have determined, amen, to make their calling an election show. Yes, Not sir. worrying about whether the Democrats like them or the Republicans like them. Come I'm on. glad that Jesus, Jesus is pleased with my praise. Amen. Somebody that knows Jesus is pleased with your praise, give him your best praise and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus was criticized, criticized excuse me, for eating corn on the Sabbath. His first public miracle was turning water into wine. Jesus walked among the common people. Yes. Jesus was ridiculed for eating with the people the Hebrews felt were unclean. Jesus said he came to those who needed a physician. How yes. It seems it was impossible to please these people. You need to understand that. Amen. And our final verse, but wisdom is justified of all her children. We see that the only those who have the wisdom of God are the ones who accept, amen, the prophets of God and even the Son of God. These are, those are the people who have become the children of God. I want to give you all a little understanding. If you don't like me, don't receive me. Amen. That don't mean God ain't with me. Amen. But you sure better check to see if God done sent a word of deliverance out of my mouth for you. Yeah, I yeah. might be the wrong color. I might be the wrong height. I might be the wrong gender, but I'm still a man of God. Yeah. I, I might talk in ways that don't please you. I don't have on fancy clothes. I don't drive a fancy car. I don't live in a fancy house. Amen. I don't have all of this stuff. But one thing I got that you need is the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes. And I come to tell you, Jesus is the yeah. only answer yes, sir. for the world today. We pray Amen, that the Lord has blessed you. Amen, I know I was moving kind of quick because we started kind of late and I was trying to get stay within my time frame. We got a storm here that's coming. Pray for us, amen, that God will protect us. Wisdom is justified, amen, in all her children. Yes, sir. Amen, any question, comment, or thought on tonight's teaching? Well, I would like to say that I really appreciate this because yes. 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 And I never understood myself. Mm -hmm. I was always a different person. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was growing up, that I can really, I can never do what others do. Yes. And it seemed like I, what I wanted to do some things, you never let nobody accept me. Uh huh. You know. And now that, uh, that uh, uh, my knowledge is being opened up, and I've suffered for so many years talking about you didn't like it. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. This is what I'm so glad and proud about and, 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 and 
and, and, and uh, you know, even in our Sunday school mm-hmm. dancing, yes, I'm talking to someone, I, I'm energetic. Amen. Because God has let me come to know the things that he has put in my heart that I was scared to share with people. It's real. Yes. And I can bring it forth yes. because I was established Amen. by more than me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? God Amen. always lets you know we yes. do the right thing. Amen. And I'm promising you this. Yes. I'm going to do all I can for the people. Well, we thank God for you, I Mother. Have no limitations. We appreciate yes. that so oh, much. God's word. Amen. And I heard it from out your mouth that I, I was reading over the from the word. Right, right. Praise right. God. So I know this is what God didn't make this up. That's right. Praise That's right. God. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's God. in the word of God. Jesus, we got to come up to the word. Mm-hmm. Depart, yes. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Amen. All right. Let's run through these questions real quick. Those who are following with us on the uh, conference line and as well as those who have joined in with us, thank you so much. Question number one. What did John the Baptist's disciples come and tell him? Talking about Jesus. Then we came to tell him all these things. They, all that stuff was going on. All right, question two. What news has swept across the land? Remember, he was telling about the resurrection of the widow's son. Jesus had to heal that boy, got him up, stopped the funeral. <laughs> it was like, oh, that man stopped the funeral procession. All right, who did John send to check out? Check this out. The baby sent two disciples, a man to bear witness. What questions were they to ask Jesus? Say, are you the uh, one or should they look for another? All right. Question number five. How do we know that John already knew who Jesus was? That's right. He's a forerunner. Remember he had baptized him. He saw that dove light on Jesus and, and stay upon him. All right. For whose benefit had John sent the disciples to question Jesus? It was for the benefit of his disciples, John's disciples. Notice the two disciples. Amen. Where is John when he takes, uh, when all this takes place? He's in prison. All right. Somebody listening to me in prison tonight. I don't know what you know. It's all right. What miracles did Jesus do before John's disciples? He cured many of their infirmities, played evil spirits, and unto the blind he gave, gave them sight. What were John's disciples to tell him? Tell John what things ye have seen and heard. How that the blind see and the lame walk and the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear and the dead are raised and to the poor the gospel is preached. If you want to know what the truth is all about, amen, amen, these are things that happen in the house of God. Lord, I thank you. You know, some folk, uh, if you're poor, they don't even preach to you. Won't even come there. Yeah. Evangelist gonna call me and say the Lord gave him a word for me. <laughs> gonna want him to come and then gonna say, "Well, uh, I need to have so such and such amount of money." Well, you keep on moving. That's what you do right there. <laughs> you gonna tell me God got a word and then you gonna put a price on it and then you think I'm stupid enough to go for that? Uh, no, I'm gonna be all right. Yeah. What is Jesus doing in verse twenty three? Jesus is warning John and his disciples not to begin to doubt because they were faced with adverse circumstances. All right, question 11. What questions did Jesus ask the people about John? Remember he said, what you went out in the wilderness to see? A reed shaking in the wind? (laughs) What is the difference between the way man judges and, and the way God judges? Man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks inside. He's looking at your heart to see the worth of man. Those who wear gorgeous clothes live where? In king's court. Remember what I'm saying? They live, they live, they live extravagant lives. What kind of people does God choose to work for him? James and Laura. Lowly and humble. That's what he'd do right there. All right. What had they expected a prophet to look like? Dressed in fancy clothes and live a very extravagant life. Uh-huh. What was John's job? A voice of crying in the wilderness proclaimed the coming of the Messiah. What was his message? Jesus is coming. Again, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. 
what should the message of the ministers be today? The same Amen. message. Jesus is coming. He's King of King and the Lord of Lords. Was there a greater prophet born of a woman than John? No. no. Who is the one intended in verse 28 who was greater? Jesus. How many know Jesus is greater? Yeah. Who had been baptized? Uh, who had baptized a great number of Jesus' followers? John. That, that John. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not angry with no Baptist Amen. folk. I'm not upset with you. I know God will have you in a place to just have me come by to help to open up your eyes. Yeah. Hallelujah. They had accepted John as a what? A true prophet. Question 23. What two people um, had refused John baptism? Remember them Pharisees and the lawyers. Uh, question 24. Who had they really rejected in doing so? They rejected God. Hear yeah. me. You can't reject me and don't reject God. Because we come together. Amen. I come with God and God come with me. Amen. Amen. What are many caught up in today that might cause them to miss God? Doctrines. When, when folk get so caught up and pride lead them to it. Yeah. Amen. You so caught up on your doctrine. You trying to teach people and they don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let, let them get the Holy Ghost first. And then the Holy Ghost will teach them. You Amen. love them. Share with them the message that Jesus saved. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, the power of God, hallelujah, unto salvation is the message of the gospel. Yes, sir. But after you got the gospel message, you need the Holy Ghost oh, in yeah. order to be able to live right. And verse 20, I mean, question 26. Who did Jesus like in this generation too? Let me say y'all like little children sitting in the marketplace. Yes. All right. Question 27, how had John come to them? He came neither eating or drinking. Uh -huh. came, uh, question 28, what terrible thing had they said of John? Remember they said he had a devil. You out there eating them locusts and honey, you got to have a devil. <laughs> question 29, what ter two terrible things they said about Jesus? They said he was a gluttonous man, a wine bibber. And a friend of publicans and sinners. And our final question, what does verse 35 mean? Our final verse, wisdom is justified in all her yes. children. Only those who have the wisdom of God yes. are the ones who accept the prophets of God, mm -hmm. even the son of God. If you got the wisdom of God, what I said tonight will find a place in your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. I pray that you open up and receive the word of God. Thank you to everyone who joined in with us. Amen. amen. Do want to just a quick shout out to Mother Annie Street, all the way from Amen Redfield Street in uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Thank you, Mother Street, for joining in with us on tonight. Right. Thank God for Sister McFadden. Amen. Brother Fails. Thank God for Lady McCoy and all who have joined in. Amen. Just a few of you. I want to acknowledge God is a good God. Thank you. Amen. Please pray for us as we, amen, deal with this storm. Pray that no hurt, harm, or danger will come to any of God's people. Pray if there is danger, let them get the Holy Ghost before the storm is over in Jesus' name. Good night and God bless.